Hi there, Mark here again. Uh, I've got Rob on the camera. Hi all. Hopefully we're going to have a bit of a chat now, Rob. We are. Because today is a happy day. You're very happy, and considering. And we all see why. Because I've got my Wild One Off-Road at Blockhead Motors Edition, designed by Jun Watanabe. And um, I had received an email a couple of days ago saying that this wasn't going to be coming until April. Yeah. <laughs> I was pretty miffed, to be honest with you. Well, that's what I saw on the interweb as well, mate. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, apparently they'd run out and I wasn't going to be able to get it. And then, all of a sudden, this turned up today. <laughs> so, yeah, it's definitely a happy day. So, we're going to unbox this for you and show you what you get in this box. And I can tell you, there are quite a lot of differences. You can see I've got the original yeah. off-roader here, the old one. And uh, as if you've seen any other videos, you'll know that I love this thing. It's a real fun buggy, great fun to drive. And so obviously this is going to be pretty much the same, isn't it, Rob, I think? I think so, sir. The, the running gear is the same, yeah. um, but obviously the design of it is completely different. Um, you can see just by looking at the two now, looking at the box art, um, yeah. you've got a different colour scheme, and that's all pre-painted, as we'll see in a minute. Oh, cool. You've got a different sticker set, you've got two extra headlights, and I think that the lights do actually take LEDs, um, right. we'll find out about that later. We will. You've got the netting on there, you've got a different driver head, I think it's a, he's got a silver helmet on this one. You've got a different roof. Oh yeah, You've got the racing number plates yeah. for the back. Mm -hmm. um, I wonder how long they're going to stay on. Yeah, yeah, in my driving, <laughs> that's true. Uh, look, and you can see down the side there, you've got the same colourway as the actual body, whereas this oh, yeah. is black on there. Uh, and so the, chass the chassis or the tubs, the same colour then? No, no, I think or it's a sticker, Rob. We'll, we'll right. find out in a minute, yeah. aren't we? And the rest of it, as you can see, there's lots more kind of, it's like a, a tubular chrome kind of effect on the, uh, the yeah. whole cage and so on, and lots of other parts, parts at the front and the suspension. So I think uh, without further ado, we'll get the lid off and uh, see what the differences are inside. Yeah. Right then, here we go. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Ta da! There we have it. I do like that, Rob. Yeah. It's a bit different. It's a, a bit of a step up again from the entry level one. So we've got that separator and it's got the uh, the blockhead logo on there, which is quite nice. And you've got the separate box for the hardware that's going to be in there. So cool. that's nice. And throw back to the old uh, Tamiya box boxings. So we can see straight away, can't we? We've got this some chrome bits. So yeah. we didn't mention that we've got chrome wheels, haven't we? Are they satin? It is like a set. I think it's all like a satin chrome, Rob. Um, obviously, it's a plastic chrome, but yeah. uh, it's a chrome effect anyway. So you've got that. You've got those are the new lights, isn't it? Could be. You've got the gearbox parts and suspension wow. parts. Oh look, that box with the insides chrome as yeah. well. There's, yeah, there's more chrome parts than I thought. So there's those. Um, we'll get these all out of the bags in a minute. There's your tub. There are the rear wheels. So this is a bonus for me, Rob. <laughs> yeah. Because we're uh, into winter here. Yeah, that's strange. It's stuck on a bit of the car. I've never seen anything like that before. Okay. Okay, right. So, yeah. Anyway, as I was saying, this is a bonus for me because we've got pre-painted and uh, a lovely pre-cut body. We'll get that out of the bags so we can have a quick look. And another bonus look, they painted the driver. Wow. That's going to save a lot of fucking yeah. about that is. So I am pleased about that because being winter, it's a bit tough to spray outside and it's cold. It is. Enough. So yeah, there's that. There's the uh, rear frame rails in silver again. More chrome, but in fact, this is looks like shinier chrome. So yeah, he's got a chrome head <laughs> on that. And some other bits and bobs, yeah. Yeah, right, so. Um, this is something unusual, Rob. I don't know if you can see on here. It's a Carson dragster brushed waterproof 70 amp. Okay. Yes, sir. The heat sink on it. So that's cool. It's got your Dean's, is it? Dean's connector or your T-plug yeah. connector. And it's got a Tamiya connector adapter. So, hey, that's pretty cool. Wow. I think I've heard that the Tamiya have run out of chips for the... TBLE, right. Um, so they're having to use uh, aftermarket stuff, but it's, you know it's waterproof. Um, so I'm liking that. That's a good one. And 
we'll have a good sniff of these in a minute. Oh, right. Yes. Righty ho. Right, let's get everything out the bags. So there we go, that's it out of all the bags. Like I said, we'll have a good look at those in a sec. But um, I just wanted to pause for a minute before I show you all this, just to mention that this was not bought by me, uh, on board by you, was it Rob? No, certainly wasn't. This was so kindly donated to the channel by the now famous RC Elf. Um, he's bought me a couple of cars. I uh, didn't mention it before because he said he wanted to remain anonymous, but uh, since then loads of people have uh, gone on and, and, and thanked him and so this is my chance now. So RC Elf, if you're out there, I hope you're watching. Um, what can I say? Um, it's just a fantastic gift. I, I really love this thing. I don't think I would have bought it for myself um, because it was a lot of money, but you so generously um, sent me the car and uh, yeah, I don't know what to say. I can't thank you enough. Um, yeah, I won't carry on about it. I think uh, he knows how I feel. So anyway, just thanks to him again and let's get on and look at these parts. Right then Rob, uh, yeah. on the left as usual. Yeah. I think that's because I'm left-handed. Left to right. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, left to right. Um, first off, there's a gearbox box. Well, but uh, can you see in that light, Rob? You, you can. You can definitely tell it's a setting type finish, yeah, not that, gloss. It is actually rather beautiful, isn't it? I've got to yeah, say, yeah. compared to the standard, this is kind of your standard plastic, isn't it? Yeah. It really does kind of raise it above that. I know it's only a little thing, but it, it actually looks like metal, doesn't it? It does, really? yeah. It's a really, really great finish. So, yeah, those are your gearbox halves. You've got your suspension arms and so on. So, yeah, that's that. And again, in the same plastic, we've got that, uh, the same finish, I should say. These are the rear wheels. And they've got, like, these uh, four holes, aren't they? So you need these yeah. these uh, wheel adapters to drive those. And they don't come on a parts tree, do they, Rob? No. They were in the uh, the box, weren't they? They were, yeah. Yeah, so that's that. And in their own little plastic bag. Yeah. And there's the uh, the fronts, obviously. And uh, to go with those are the. Hang on, Rob. Get me there. Oh, those do actually smell rather nice. That's a quite a strong smell on those. It is. But uh, I do like these tyres, Rob. They definitely look new with them ones. Yeah, this is a mix, isn't it, of uh, like spikes and blocks. Yeah. And they work really well, don't they, off road? They do. They really do grip in well. So those are great. The front ones, ooh, not so sure about these. No, nor me. But I mean, they look the part, don't they? They look the part and they do seem to yeah, work. They're not too bad. I think it's because they've got some nice sharp edges, haven't they, they? I think so, yeah. They're not deep grooves, but like, yeah, like Rob said, they do work quite well. So, yeah, that's that. Um, like I said before, you've got the, uh, the chrome um, driver's helmet, so that's different. Um, I think I will do box art on this because I mean, so you know, it's already yeah, painted. It's already painted. And there's no way I'm gonna not put the blockhead motors no. livery on because that's what makes this a special Tamiya. So yeah, I think I'll do that. It's gonna be fun trying to paint yeah. his face over the silver. But there you go. So that's that. Uh, over here again, these are your your frame rails. Again, it's moulded in a, a very flexible, soft plastic, which is what you want for a roll cage, isn't it? Cheers. If you, that was brittle, that would snap if you rolled, so that's perfect. Yeah, so that'll well, look cool. The grey plastic itself, isn't it? it? It's, it's not, not plated. It's not plated, you're right, Rob. And the last plated tree, um, we've got, oh, that's the cover that goes inside, doesn't it? Yeah. At the, at the back there. That's it, yeah. you got your wheel adapters. I think they're servo posts, by the look of it. Yeah. Moving on to the interior, so this is your driver's body. And like I said, it's uh, nice to be painted. It's, it's a matte colour, which is great. Yeah. Um, as you can see, oh, it looks like they've sprayed it from the inside. It's matte on the outside. That's nice. And uh, they've done the body as well. I think I will be kind of putting a bit of black around here because I don't think his hands should be that, no. that fat, should they really? Not probably. really, no. Uh, yeah, like I did on, on the other one, my uh, uh, standard world one. I'll just uh, put a bit of black down the bottom. Look a bit more realistic, but that saves a lot of work. And uh, yeah, there's the body and the roof, and they are beautifully cut out, aren't they, Rob? They are. I don't know whether they've got a stamp or a press, um, but they're cut out. And, and like I say, you've got that lovely blue paint, which is already done for you. Saves a lot of faffing about. It does. Yep. From bumper, which we're going to need with my driving. <laughs> and uh, then we've got your internal gears. It's just the two. So that's for the differential with the holes in there. And that's your spur gear. 
as we mentioned earlier, the got the uh, it's not a TBLE, it's this um, Carson um, brushed ESC 70 amp. So that's cool. And we notice it's got um, jumper settings on it for lipos, and then you've got different modes. It's got crawler mode, car mode, and and boat mode. Would you believe? Cool. So that's a nice little uh, ESC servo saver. Yeah. Uh, these look like the shock internals, the, mm -hmm. the, the valves for the shocks. Uh, yeah, so the, the other bits are in the bags, I think. This is new to the blockhead kit. You've got the uh, window netting, you've got tons of uh, zip ties. <laughs> you've got a metal aerial, which I think is just mock up, isn't it, Rob? Yeah. Uh, which is nice because it's nice and retro, which goes with the wild one. And these are the rear number plates uh, that Rob found, didn't you, mate? Well, yeah, yeah. They, they fit. So let's have a look. You've got uh, you've got this diagram here. So you've got it's basically um, what do you call it, Rob? Template. Yeah, well done. <laughs> it's a template. Nice <laughs> word. A template for cutting out the window uh, netting, and you've got to do some cuts on these number plates and draw some holes and obviously I don't know whether you have to paint them I think the sticker maybe uh, you've got a full yellow sticker ah uh, right nice one mate so yeah no painting at all then, separate Rob. numbers by the looks of it we can yeah we can put different numbers on if we want to then so quickly go through the parts bags um, I've taken them out the main bag so this is parts um, bag A lots of metal oh bits. yes and like we noticed here you've got red shock oil and in this one we've got yellow shock oil so yeah. these are the front shocks and obviously it's not uh, very heavy on the front it's not and I can tell you from my wild one that I run quite a lot uh, the front's hardly ever on the floor yeah <laughs> it's always doing weird so that's why we've got the light shock oil and you've got those beautifully machined alloy uh, housings for um, the shocks you've got lots of uh, screws brass parts um, nuts and bolts You've got uh, ceramic grease, and you've got those are the steering knuckles, aren't they, Rob? Looks like it, yeah. Yeah, well, the, the sorry, the wheel axles, I should say. And a few more nuts and bolts there, and you've got this great big solid and you know, steel bar, torsion that, body type thing. Yeah, goes at the front and mounts the front suspension, the rear swing, uh, what they call, yeah, swing arm suspension. Yeah. Um, I don't know, I think the weight might be to try and help keep the front down, but I it, think so. It but doesn't. It doesn't, doesn't work. <laughs> no. Anyway, so that's that, and you've got the uh, the mounts there for your shocks. They're nice, machined aluminium parts. That's great stuff. Parts bag B. As we said, you've got the rear shocks with the slightly harder oil. I think it's 400 weight. Yep. And springs. You've got your diff gears. We've got uh, these are the ball joints. I think for the steering. And some bolts. That's a bracket for the motor mount I think or something to do with that yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and uh, nicely you've got the choice here of uh, you've got two pinion gears so you can choose high and low speed you've got metal output drives you've got metal wheel shafts and metal dog bones cool all good what you don't got get though guys I must mention it is you don't get any bearings so I will be throwing those plastic bushings yeah. away and I will be buying a set of bearings. It's only about a tenner, isn't it, Rob? It is, yeah. More nuts and bolts. And this is the boot, or boots that cover the rear drive shaft, keep all the muck out. So that's a nice addition. And you've got some also nice aluminium machine parts that I think space the, uh, the, 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 roll the main roll cage apart. Yeah. So those are those parts. Finally, parts bag C. We've got this uh, carbon fibre I think it's that holds the battery in, doesn't it? Yeah. It's a battery holder and a few parts. There's a, a bracket for that as well. And you've got wheel nuts and a few flange nuts and bolts in there. A few more of those horrible plastic bearings. A little bit of tape. So, yeah. Marbucci standard 540 motor, yeah. 27 turn. I don't know. I've got that in my uh, standard road uh, wild one. And it, it, it goes pretty quick, doesn't it, Rob, it really, does, for yeah. what it is, because it's a light buggy. I don't know. Don't know whether it'll fit that, mate. But, yeah, it's a spare. But if you do fit a different motor, as you can see from this, you need longer motor wires, yes. don't you, Rob? Because mm -hmm. it's a fair way from the ESC to the motor, which is hanging right over the back, isn't it? Right then, on to the stickers. Obviously, these are unique and designed by uh, Jun Watanabe, who's the, the Japanese designer. 
and these are all relevant to his uh, Blockhead Motors brand uh, of RC parts and custom parts. So you've got number 126, you've got some really nice kind of retro kind of um, logos there, haven't mm, we? Yep. I like those. Uh, but you do also oh, get right. <coughs> yeah, a full set of two numbers. Hang on mate, there's only two sets there. Yeah, but oh, hang three. on, hang on, you're right. <laughs> they uh, cocked up. How is that going to work? <laughs> Yeah, we've got three number plates, haven't we? We've got the two yeah. on the back and the one, the one on the nose, yeah. haven't we? Oh man. Okay. Uh, I think I'll just go with those then, mate. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's that. Then. So, quick look at the manual. Um, they've done this one, obviously special one-off for the world one because it's not the standard manual. Yeah. Uh, I would assume it's. Is it just the front page? Oh, I'll, I'll tell you because I know the other manual. Yeah. Uh, no, it is different. Look, because yeah. straight away you've got doing those. Uh, those stickers down the side, like we said, it's not yeah. paint on the side of the no. chassis, it's um, a sticker. And then you've got the cutting out of the headlights. Yep, so it is different. I don't know whether it shows these parts, it shows these as light parts as well, so it's a new manual, guys. Although I think it's pretty much going to go together the same way. Yeah, I think so. As a, a standard world one. Ah, hang on, it shows you cutting out here. That's a bit silly, yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's obviously this is all done for you and, and the painting for the driver. Um, shows you fitting the lights on there. Uh, how to place the stickers or decals in the right place and doing that next. So it is a different manual look. So you've got it the is, yeah. And those uh, rear number plates. Oh, I can just add on. Yeah. So yeah, okay. there we go. Okay, so that is. The World One Off-Roader, Blockhead Motors version from Tamiya. And uh, all it's left to say is thanks for watching. And it's good night from me. And it's good night from him. Cheers. Hi there, Mark here again. Got Rob on the camera. Hi all. And uh, today is a happy day. Because, as you can see, I've arrived... I've, uh, 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 I've arrived. You've arrived, yes. What are we talking about? <laughs> oh dear. We're still running. Okay. I just wanted to mention that this was sent to me by, would you believe, the infamous or famous RC Elf. Um, I'll start that again, because infamous isn't a good thing to say. <laughs> I meant famous.